What's up, Internet? Sean here, and today I'd like to talk to you about viruses. I want to make sure you know what a virus is, what a virus does, how to prevent viruses, and how to protect yourself from viruses. With these four things, you can browse the best of the web virus-free. And while we're talking about the best of the web, I mean, there's also me on the right and the related links. I mean, I'm probably there. I always am. And, I mean, really, you can only learn more. And also, I'm there, so why not check those out? All right, guys. So a virus will act in a very similar manner to spyware, although the purpose of the virus and the purpose of the spyware are slightly different. So one thing to note is if you're just sitting online, minding your own business, you won't get a virus. And that is if you're, if you're all the way updated with all your updates as far as um, software uh, program updates, operating system updates. As long as you're updated, you have a firewall and you also have antivirus. With those things in mind and just simply browsing the web cautiously, you won't get a virus. More common than not, a virus is meant to crash, manipulate, or control your computer. And although there are some viruses out there that are simply meant to be um, hoaxes or jokes, harmless for the most part, those viruses still do cause a lot of damage. Just being in the way that it's really hard to break down how infected or how broken down the security measures are of that computer that has the virus. So more times than not, you spend time and money fixing that computer and completely removing the virus so there's no chance of a security breach. Now, let's talk about how we get a virus. Now, just as before, when we are talking about spyware, it'd just be this, pretty much the same process. You download a program, it takes you to a website, you download a program, you execute the program, that virus has been installed, if it's a virus. So like, when looking for the Thor movie, the fake website we found, they wanted us to download an EXE file so we can get a movie. This could possibly be a virus. More likely than not, spyware, malware, but could also be a virus. And again, for this site, we've already submitted this site to the fish tank, which is simply fishtank.com, P-H-I-S-H-T-A-N-K. This is a good site for tracking and submitting fake websites if you're not sure about a website. And again, when we're talking about downloads and installing programs and getting files off the internet, if it's anything you can get at download.com, if it's a program you can find at download.com, then just go there and get the program because more times than not, whatever the program is, it'll have reviews, whether it be editor reviews or user reviews, so it'll be it'll be reviewed and looked over by the masses. All of that aside, you'll still want to make sure you have antivirus and a firewall. Like for instance, on my system, I like to use PandaCloud. Although one downside to PandaCloud is you have to be connected online for it to work. Now let's talk about how viruses work. So here we are over here at home with our four computers, router, firewall, and connected to our internet service provider. And let's say this guy over here is wanting to get a virus on our computer. Just in the same way he did with the spy bot. What he'll try to do is he'll create a virus. And he's going to take his virus and more than likely put it a couple places out on the internet and try to get us to and try to get us to download that virus unknowingly. Now let's say for instance we did download the virus unknowingly. So now we have a virus. Well, guess what happens now? Now, the other computer has a virus, and another, and another. And where this can be really bad is if you're at work, and somebody on the work gets a virus. Everybody's got a virus, and not just everybody, but also our servers. So you want to make sure not downloading anything you don't know about online, and as well as that, you want to make sure you stay updated on your updates, so that any hole that has been found has been also been patched. This is another reason why when you open an executable file, there's a confirmation before that saying, are you sure you want to open this or this could be modifying system files? That's why that feature has been created. Make sure to stay tuned because I'll be covering antivirus software and that's simply where we'll be blocking the viruses, making sure they don't get on our computer and removing them from our computer. So, all right guys, there you go. That's everything you need to know about viruses and using the internet and staying safe. All right guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one, and that will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. 
Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware viruses and all that bad stuff on the internet.